Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel Answers by Divine. This is gonna be for your December's reading. Okay, apologize for the mid-November, so didn't manage to get it done in time. So this will be your early December's reading. Okay, so there will be no general or love, so whatever the messages are coming from the cards. And also before I get started, I just wanted to ask for some suggestions on the type of reading as we close have as we have a closure for 2018. So so that will be for the mid month of December or whatever okay so if you have any suggestions on what kind of reading would you like to have for the end of the year okay uh, let me know it can be any kind of question any kind of questions or however the reading is to be done like a Celtic cross or or a sunset uh, whatever okay so or typically I think it will be more on the aspect uh, like in which aspect of life would it be love department or finances or a new job whatever okay so this is for you Sagittarius for the month of December okay one last shuffle for Sagittarius for the month of December's reading okay here we are we are done with the last shuffle so this is for Sagittarius for the month of December. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Mm -mm. I just want to tell you that okay so instinctively uh, there is this instant messages coming to me um, so before it slipped my mind so I just want to tell you that there's something better ahead waiting for you okay there's something better ahead waiting for you uh, actually more towards the love department all right but otherwise actually can be just generally anything but I'm actually the first thing I saw was actually probably the love department uh, or any more uh, any kind of uh, um, like towards the heart affairs all right towards the heart affairs because i've got a 10 of cups okay so i'm feeling like there are better things coming ahead there might be some ending for you okay there might be some ending for you there might be some disastrous kind of event uh uneventful kind of event in your life in this year or if not in the recent past okay so but there is something better ahead for you there's something better ahead for you so but when this message comes to me, like there's something ahead better for you, does it mean that you have been uh, constantly pursuing whatever that's not meant to be? Mm? Okay. Ooh. I just feel like, yeah, you definitely have got something for you. Like something is there for you, coming for you. But it's just a matter of, probably a matter of choice, whether if you are... Um, if you want to take it up or not, okay, but definitely I'm saying there's a better offer, a, some, just something, someone better for you, okay, the bottom of the deck, we have got the Ace of Pentacles, okay, in an upright position, this is coming to you, your overall general energy, Ace of Pentacles in upright position, it is definitely a very beautiful thing I'm seeing a very beautiful thing and I'm seeing whatever is in the past it has been disastrous I'm talking about really disastrous for you okay it, it can be heartbreaking it can be um, it can be disturbing upsetting uh, it's just it's just it's just difficult. It's just a very difficult energy that, that you've been dealing with in the past, okay? Whatever past is uh, definition is for you, okay? But I just feel like you need to actually be more... Um, uh, more aware of your around uh, of your surroundings around you people around you things around you the 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 environment around you is like you have to be more um um uh, you have to be more uh, attentive more attentive to the surroundings around you because it is like it is just around you it is there for you to pick it up but if you are just focusing on whatever that's not meant to be in terms of love people um or work or whatever or like probably your own desires whatever that's not meant to be you will miss it out for sure you will miss it out for sure but luckily on this spread over here i'm saying that more likely than not you shouldn't be missing out because ultimately you know there is a sparkle there is a sparkle for you to ultimately 
uh, get clarity and be able to move on, there will be a sparkle in this month of December. If not any time from now, today the 25th of November. Okay, any time from now. I definitely do see that you have been pursuing the things, the people uh, that's not meant to be, that's not meant for you, really, really. You have been pursuing. Or otherwise, it will be the one, the one thing, the one person, the one thing that's meant for you, that's out there hanging, hanging, like low hanging fruit, that's so near to you, but you just um, probably turn a blind eye, to, turn a blind eye to it, okay, turn a blind eye to it, or just, just not being sensitive enough to pick that up, okay. But I want to, I just want to give you the affirmation that whatever that was in the past, okay, they are disastrous for you. They are definitely not meant for you. Because we start off the reading with the world in reverse. Why is the world in reverse? No, we are not talking about future forward. We are talking about the past, okay? In the early part of the reading, it, it is definitely uh, the recent past or the current now, all right? The current now. All right, it is, we are not towards the end of the reading, so it is not going to be the future forward. It is definitely the recent past at the very least. Okay, we have the world in reverse. And I feel like, Sagittarius, you have been trying to move on, you have been trying to move off, but... At times, I see you turning back around. I see you turning back around. And then, when you turn back around, you don't even, you're not even in sync with your inner self. When you turn back around, definitely it is because you still have carry hopes, you still have hopes within, within yourself about certain someone, about certain situation, about certain something, all right? But sometimes you... It's like, Sagittarius, you are really bad in your communication. You are so bad in communicating, okay? Like, I mean, the things that are necessary for you to be more tactful, I mean, when it comes to communicating or uh, touching on the issues that needs you to be more tactful when it, in terms of communication, I seriously don't see you being tactful. And then you just be like, probably inserting in sarcasm sarcasm over here okay but i just feel like it is not your intention but somehow i'm telling you sometimes or part of you unknowingly unintentionally do pro uh, project portray uh portray or give the uh the, the the image of you being sarcastic okay But it is not so. Like the thing, the thing is that because you kind of lose, you kind of lose yourself. You kind of lose it. You kind of not owning it. That like every other time when you just when you decided that and you know that you want to go for something, you want to go for someone. You kind of it is kind of like oh like uh head over head over, is it head over heels? Okay that you just kind of lose it, you lose it, you didn't own it. And you're focusing too much on whatever that's not meant to be, whatever that's not meant for you, whoever that's not meant for you, whatever that's not meant to be, okay? And I'm telling you that there's a higher vibration that's shining on you, that's... that's that actually has got its plan for you, working out for you, okay? You just have to, but all you need to do is really to let go, let go of the past, let go of the past. And embrace and trust that whatever is meant to be will definitely meant to be, is meant to come. But the thing is that if you're, if you're, you know, if you have no capacity to take on more, how is it supposed to come to you? How is it supposed to to bless, to bless you, to bless on you, to give you that, 
not to give you that blessing, but to bless you with the new things that's meant, that's supposed to be coming. Like, it's like, my God, like how, like, higher up is looking at you and your plates are full only because like, you're taking in, you're taking all, all of that that's not meant for you. And then on the higher up, when they look at this person, be like, oh man, this Sagittarius man or woman, it's just taking so much that's not meant to be for them. Like, I've got better things for them. Really. Trust me. Okay, that's the end of the reading. <laughs> that's the end of the reading. Re really, like, all the cards over here. I've got nine cards over here. It is definitely pointing to the same message, no matter how I read the cards. Let me just show it to you, okay? We start off with the world in reverse. And then we talk about you. Um, firstly, you, you accepted and it's like you tried to move on. You tried to move on. But later, you were indecisive. You were later indecisive. Two of Wands in reverse, okay? You decided and then you became indecisive. All right, the world is in reverse. Like something just crushed upon you. Something just came like bam. Okay. And then you, you, you knew that it is time. Like it is, there's an expiry date to it. And this is the expiry date. But the thing is that after you threw it away, you just wanted to dig it out again. Two of ones in reverse. Okay. And then where is the sarcasm? The sarcasm is this, the nine of wands. I see this card as sarcasm. You, it's like you wanted to find it back. You wanted to find whoever, whatever over here. Two of wands in reverse. And then it's like, okay, you found, you probably found, but you were sarcastic. Like you, it was kind of, it was like your behavior, like the way you're, Mm, the way you carried yourself wasn't man wasn't the best wasn't the best of you okay and hence I said it was unintentionally it was unintentionally it causes this nine of ones in the upright position this nine of ones is like defensiveness but why I feel this is you and also whoever that you are dealing with it is you being sarcastic and then because you be being sarcastic the people whom you're dealing with are will tend to be more defensive against you. And it needs you, it needs you to lose, to lose that focus because that focus was really unnecessary. It needs you to lose that focus, okay? I don't see this card as juggling. I see this card as focusing because like I always say, when you juggle, you need a lot of focus. Like you need to know the timing and, and stuff like that. You need to know your skills, your whatever, okay? Your strength, you need to have full awareness. Okay, it needs you to let go. Two of pentacles in reverse. Let go of that focus, okay? Trust that higher, higher vibration, high priestess, the higher vibration is there waiting for you, okay? It's like there is this two of cups though in reverse. This two of cups, even though it is in reverse, it is meant to be up like in an upright position but because your plates are full okay your plates are full when i say two of cups it can be anything all right it can be a business partnership it can be i do not know whatever kind of relationship love relationship professional kind of uh uh relationship anything okay two of cups in reverse only means to say to me at least in this reading for you it is telling me that it is, this two of cups is about to come but because of you your plates are so full it's not coming at all it's not happening because you're giving your world you're giving your yourself prince of cups you're giving yourself upright okay two Someone who's not undeserving of you. Someone who's not right for you. Something that's not right for you, the world in reverse. I'm reading your reading in a U shape somehow. I'm reading your, your reading in a U shape. Okay. I 
I just want to tell you, I mean, I think this is going to make you feel slightly uncomfortable when I tell you this, is that before time, okay, before time, before anything happens, like whatever that was, um, that you're, uh, that you're bothered by, okay, whatever the ties or relationship is about, okay, can be, again, it can be in any department, not necessarily be love, okay, it used to be there's a potential in it. There was a potential in in growth, okay? Potentially, there can be growth between you and someone else, it, between you and a, and a potential opportunity, okay? There was potential growth in it. But I feel like Sagittarius, you might not have... You might have taken it for granted you might not have cherished the times back then okay you might have missed it yeah you just might have missed it missed it meaning to say not like you missed it missed it but you just might have um overlooked or you just might have been occupied by something else back then Or you were kind of like trying to push limits. Okay, again, this card is about pushing limits. With these two cards, potential was there. All right, potential was there. But you kind of like push the limit over here towards the end. Like, I'm not sure if it's ending, but um, at one point in time, you kind of like push the limit. <coughs> Or otherwise took it for granted. So you have been focusing on you have been focusing on a collaboration, on a affinity, on a faithful event, a faithful person, two of cups in reverse. You might have been focusing on that which is not meant to be, okay, the high priestess in upright over here, which is not meant to be because the high priestess has something better for you. But it needs you to, to lose that concentration on this two of cups. If you see what I mean, this person, this lady, this, this high priestess is here. You just have to let go of one. You have, have to let go of one. Okay, let go of this one. And the overall, bottom of the deck, the general energy, it is your Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. This is fantastic. I'm telling you, this is fantastic. Below the Ace of Pentacles, it is telling you to let go of the past. The Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, let it go. It is not... It really is not for you. Hmm? There's a queen here. There's a queen here that's more suited for you. There's a this there's this queen of wands up right here waiting to come into your life. Can be a male or a female. Okay, so for most of you who are females, don't get bothered by this queen of wands. But this queen of wands is only trying to tell you that someone who's um who's more who is more um conscious about their love okay someone who is more conscious about their love who knows what they're doing to you okay like who knows what you really truly deserve queen of wands over here the ones are about hopes desires dreams actions behavior this person knows what you need and this person is supposed to come. So, but the good thing is in the center of the deck, all right, in the center of the deck, it was this 10 of cups in the upright position. So in this month of December, no matter how bad a situation is, you will definitely still find the positive, the good side of things in this month of December, okay? 
in this month of December, no matter how bad it is, there is still um, a reason, you could still find a reason to smile at, to, to you, you would still find that you are somehow, somewhat still happy, okay? So, really, focusing on the wrong one, on the wrong choice, on the wrong option for you, for yourself. Okay, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, so wake up, wake up. Sagittarius is in my 12th house. Okay, don't really matter. Okay. Um, okay, I think that's really all about, about all that I want to give you. So I don't want to complicate the message over here. I think it is straightforward enough for you to really, um, to... To know what the true message, the true essence here in this reading is about. Till then, I will see you in the next reading. There will still be one last reading, I promise, before the end of the year. Okay, but I need some suggestions. If you have got any, I would appreciate if you can share with me how would you like your reading to be done generally for everyone. Okay, not a personal reading. Till then, I will see you. Bye-bye.